Lorna Noble and I'm working in the International Evaluation Department at the moment. I studied Combined Honours in Arts at Durham University and I'm a non-cognate so I'm currently doing a part-time Masters with Kingston University. My name's James Castle. I work in the Global Corporate Services Department in the Petroleum and Automotive team. My name is Emma Anson and I've worked in building consultancy as a building surveyor for about a year now. Hello, my name is Simon Taylor Foster and I work in a newly formed uh, department called Development and Regeneration. Since day one I've been involved in a huge range of varied and interesting projects. I've been to France to do some building surveys of hotels. I've also helped out on entire industrial parks. We've done landmark office blocks through to listed buildings in Covent Garden. I been working on anything from small housing uh, developments to three quarter of a billion uh, retail led mixed use regeneration projects. The main differentiators which made me choose CBRE was first and foremost uh, CBRE's reputation as the number one real estate provider. Um, one of the things was definitely CBRE's international presence across the globe. So as I study languages one of the things that I'm very keen to do in the future is to go abroad and work abroad for sometime whether that be a placement of a few months or for a longer period of time so that was very important the social side was very attractive and that's definitely proved to be the case um, back in January we went on the LSH ski challenge over in the Italian Alps with CBRE which was really good fun some hard skiing and some hard socializing but good fun was had by all and it was also a very good opportunity to get to know people all across the business in different departments getting up in the morning isn't it keeping a routine and um staying on top of the paperwork. One of the things it's taken me longer to overcome has been really getting to grips with the markets because in the international field you work in a lot of different markets it's taken me longer to get to grips with those but now 10, 11 months down the line it, I do have a, perhaps a wider, a wider knowledge base than I would otherwise have but it was difficult to begin with. I feel very confident about my APC and particularly the career development, my personal development. We attend a lot of training courses and through these we can learn how to integrate soft skills into our everyday professional lives. If I could give one tip it would be to be yourself. I really do believe it's so important to be honest and I think the reason that I was pleased with my interview and assessment centre was because I'd given a fair representation of who I was and what I was about and that's really important. Another thing also just to bear in mind is that you shouldn't be scared of interviewing CBRE as well. This is your chance to find out about them. Um, the one tip I'd give any graduate looking to join CBRE would be um, preparation is key. Whether it's searching around for sources um, or going through the practice questions with a friend. One tip I could give graduates um, after they've started CBRE would be to ask people whether junior or whether senior uh, about what they do uh, so that they can better understand how the business all fits together.